Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Yoda T Wolf coming at you with another exclusive video for 1911 lovers, 1911 custom pistol lovers, and 1911 aficionados. For all you 1911 lovers, custom pistol lovers, and aficionados, the box that you see before you, you know that this can only mean one thing. And that one thing is, is that this is a custom pistol from a custom firearm manufacturer. And without further ado, this is the Les Bear Premier 2, which is a great phenomenal video. Let me go ahead and pop the box open. And this is what you get when you purchase a Les Bear. Whether it's the Stinger, whether it's the Hemi, whether it's the Boss, whatever. This is how it always comes. So, I don't want to keep you all waiting. Let's go ahead and pop, pop it open. Uh, my gun kind of came wrapped a little bit differently because when I uh, picked it up from the, uh, <clears throat> from the dealer, uh, they kind of constantly opened and closed the box, so on and so forth. So I'm not gonna sit here and bore you all to death. So this is the uh, Premier 2 by Les Bear. This is his entry level firearm. And it comes in a piece of plastic and this thing comes drenched. And I absolutely mean drenched in preservation uh, lubricant oil. So some guys, they wipe it off. Les Bear says, you know, kind of leave it on. Don't break the gun down until you put at least, at least 250 rounds. And if the gun is still not firing the way that you want it, go ahead and throw another 250 rounds in for a total of 500 rounds before you pick the phone up call out to LeClaire, Iowa and whining to Les Bear, as he says. So, <clears throat> this is a uh, 45. Let me see if I can zoom my camera in. So this is the uh, 45 ACP. And this is the uh, Bear Custom. Try to get a little light on it. Yeah, that's your uh, Bear Custom right there. So it's uh, both ends, it's uh, serrated, has your serrations right here, cocking serrations right there. This is a double uh, ambi safety. I don't know if you all can get a good picture of that. So here's your uh, strong side safety and here's your weak side safety. This was kind of a turn off for me and I called Les Bear up and they told me that I could send the firearm to them and for about 140 bucks, they can take this weak side safety off, refinish the frame, uh, so on and so forth. But I think I'm just gonna keep it like this and, and just see how uh, that plays. Uh, skeletonized trigger. This is, I believe, uh, 20 or 30 uh, inch uh, front strap checkering. The back uh, strap is uh, serrated uh, and you can see right here if I can get this in here pretty good I get a little light but you can see right there how tight that fit is right there so uh, they give you a skeletonized uh, uh, hammer and you get the old you know, simple uh, front sight, rear sight post. Uh, Coca Bolo uh, hand grips. Let me move my big hands out the way. Coca Bolo hand grips, and you get a nice little uh, beaver tail safety right there. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a Series 70 or Series 80 uh, firearm, so I know uh, 1911 lovers uh, don't beat me up on that, okay? Um, I'm gonna set this down just kind of show you all some more of the stuff uh, that comes in this package um, so let's bear sense this little cool little package out uh, I did notice that two things were missing um, out of this package but I'm not gonna bitch and gripe about it because I don't think it's all too big 
uh, that it's missing. But you get your standard bushing wrench, Les Bear uh, custom sticker, Les Bear custom patch, 1911 disassembly manual. This is a certification of everybody who's worked on this particular firearm. They signed it, so thanks, guys. Can't wait to shoot it. Uh, you get the uh, Les Bear retail price list. Here's a uh, registration card for maintenance. Uh, send this off to Les Bear immediately. That way they can log it in their system. And you get the Les Bear catalog featuring other pistols and rifles that he makes. Uh, you know, like the Hemi uh, Concept, Monolith, Super Stinger. Uh, he also makes uh, rifles uh, plus parts, spare parts. Maybe you might need a new firing pin. And he has, you know, merchandise, you know, hats, shirts, sweatshirts. Has a uh, book that uh, uh, is this autobiography replica cars that he has. And by the way, Les Bear has a very huge uh, classic muscle car and current muscle car collection that he keeps up there in uh, LeClaire, Iowa. And it comes with uh, two eight-round Les Bear magazines. I haven't heard anything bad about these. I know a lot of people uh, say get the uh, "Quote unquote uh, Wilson Combat magazines because uh, they're they're better. Uh, I haven't heard anything bad about the Les Bears, but me personally, I use the uh, the ACT mags, which are real good. Never had a problem with those, and I use uh, the Chip McCormick um, Power Mag 10 round. Uh, these these are wonderful right here. These are 10 round uh, Chip McCormick Power Mags. Um, also. Your Les Bear comes with your simple $5 cheapo lock. And one thing that I really like about Les Bear and, and that he sent this lock out is because I've purchased firearms in the past and the state of California requires that all firearms or all pistols be sold with a uh, cable gun lock. And this is a little cheap old $5 lock, and some dealers out here in California, they will try to gank you on these and try to, you know, uh, sell them to you for like 15, 20 bucks, you know? And I'm kind of like, dude, this is a $5 lock. I just bought a custom gun. You can give me this for free. It's not like you're, you're actually losing a crap load of money. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much all the things that comes in with the uh, Les Bear, but to get back to the uh, the firearm, this is Les Bear's entry level uh, firearm. Uh, this firearm uh, MSRP is uh, around about high 1800s to about mid 1900s, possibly high 1900s, like 1999, basically $2,000. Overall, I spent. Uh, $2,110.43 on this firearm. I picked this firearm up from Martin B. Redding over in Culver City, California. And I'm just the type of person who I'm just trying to collect all the custom uh, entry level firearms. I don't believe that anybody needs to go out and spend, you know, high threes, low fours, five, six, seven thousand dollars on a firearm unless you're just buying it for a gift or unless you're a professional shooter and you're going to the range uh, pretty much every day and you have sponsors and things of that nature. Me, I go to the range uh, about once or twice a week and you know, I'm just not that much of a professional shooter. I am an avid shooter and I am pretty good but I just don't see the, the price justification for the higher, higher end of uh, 1911s offered by uh, Les Bear, uh, Wilson Combat, Nighthawk Custom, and Ed Brown. As some of you all know from a previous video, I had also purchased 
this sexy beast right here, which is a Nighthawk Custom GRP. So this is their uh, entry level firearm and I continuously run this gun really, really hard. I treat it almost better than I do my children, okay? Uh, this gun right here with uh, the extra clips and, and tacks and everything was around about $3,500. So I'm constantly shooting that. I've probably put over probably about 700 rounds through it, and I'm it, it pretty much needs the the spring to be changed out. But <clears throat> to get back to the nitty gritty, like I said, this is Les Bear's uh, Premier 2. It's an entry level firearm. It's his most uh, sold and his most commonly known uh, 1911 firearm, and the reason why is because the price on it is so so good and the accuracy on this thing is so good. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna get out to the range and hopefully I'll put some uh, videos of me shooting this thing up on YouTube and uh, let you all know my, my overall impressions of, of this firearm. So, I'm gonna pretty much end the video on that. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, send me comments if you like the video. If you don't like the video, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, send me any questions that you may have that I can, you know, freely answer about uh, this 1911 or my Nighthawk. Um, and and please, folks, keep in mind that you know this election is is going to be a uh, riveted election. So I'm not going to tell you who to vote for, but put a candidate in office that represents your beliefs, your hobbies. The Second Amendment is under attack. Keep in mind, support the NRA. And without the Second Amendment, all other amendments are dead. And be safe shooting these firearms. Remember, if you have children in your household, to uh, lock these firearms up. Never leave them laying around loaded. And kind of forgot, let me just go ahead and do a quick safety check. I know I'm running out of time on this video. To, just to show you how tight this slide is. Ah, shoot, yeah, that is pretty tight. Wow, that is tight. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. So I had to kind of take it off camera to get the slide open. Um, just real quick, as you can see here, uh, the barrel is worn just a little bit because less bear fires these like a hundred or two hundred rounds through them. So you see real quick that there's nothing, no magazine in, and pretty much there's nothing in the chamber. Just do a quick pinky test right there. Okay. So like I said, um, support the NRA. Be safe shooting. And uh, if you have any comments, questions. Uh, feel free to shoot them to me. All right, you all take care. God bless, and I'm out.